Welcome to In Step with Fort Riley, coming to you from in front of the Cavalry Museum here on Fort Riley's historic main post. Hi everybody, I'm Scott Rhodes, and as you can tell, it's just such a gorgeous day outside, we decided to get out of the studio and do In Step out in the great outdoors today. Now, members of Fort Riley's 3rd Brigade Combat Team have been redeploying back here to the Prairie Post for the last few weeks after serving a one-year tour of duty in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Now, in the meantime, Fort Riley's 1st Brigade Combat Team, part of the 1st Infantry Division, or the Big Red One, continues their mission in Iraq. Now, in this photo, we see two Devil Brigade soldiers providing health screenings for some Iraqi school kids. Here is Captain Jodel Schroeder and Specialist Zia Ahmed. They're among the contingent of medical professionals from the 101st Forward Support Battalion doing the screenings at the Al Huda Primary School for Girls. The 101st FSB sponsors the school as part of the Adopt-a-School program that the soldiers are participating in. Now we need to send special thanks out to Lieutenant Colin Taylor of the 101st Forward Support Battalion for that story and the pictures that went along with it. Welcome to In Step with Fort Riley. I'm Scott Rose. Folks, let's just dive right into the show today with the latest news that we have from our soldiers serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom, starting with the 1st Brigade Combat Team, part of the 1st Infantry Division. In central Iraq, members of the 101st Forward Support Battalion have taken on a humanitarian mission involving a girls' school. Located in the city of al Habanyat, just west of Baghdad, is the al Huda School for Girls. Built back in 1957, the facility is, well, folks, it's seen better days. Let's just put it that way. It needed some upgrades in several areas, such as electricity, plumbing, and security. And with the help of Fort Riley's 101st Forward Support Battalion, the school will be a better, safer place for kids to learn when classes resume this fall. The 101st is in the middle of several projects at the school that include a new security wall to prevent vandalism. The restrooms will again have running water, something they haven't had for quite some time now, and each classroom will have new lighting and ceiling fans. As a final touch, flower gardens will dot the grounds. Our thanks to Lieutenant Colin Taylor of the 101st FSB for that story and the pictures that went along with it. Welcome to In Step with Fort Riley. I'm Scott Rhodes. Folks, we still have Fort Riley, that is, has about 3,700 soldiers serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom. And our Iraq News this week comes to us from Fort Riley's 101st Forward Support Battalion, part of the 1st Brigade of the 1st Infantry Division. Now, recently, members of the 101st FSB recently completed a two-week-long combat lifesaver course. Now, a team of medics trained around 60 non-medical soldiers, such as cooks and mechanics, to provide emergency medical care to fellow soldiers or other wounded personnel. A combat lifesaver is like a first responder in the civilian world, someone to administer immediate care until medical personnel are available to treat the wounded more thoroughly. The combat lifesaver will also help combat medic treat and evacuate casualties. Now, the soldiers receive training on performing trauma assessments, triage, administering IVs, treating dehydration and other non-battle injuries, and most importantly, treating combat-related injuries. Our thanks to First Lieutenant Colin Taylor of the 101st Forward Support Battalion for that story and the photos that went along with it. Good day, everyone. Welcome to this edition of In Step with Fort Riley. I'm Specialist John Wollaston. Scott Rhodes is on vacation this week. Let's start off the show with a little good news from Iraq. Now, as you know, members of Fort Riley's 101st Forward Support Battalion, part of the 1st Brigade Combat Team, have been in Iraq for nearly a year now. Well, they're getting ready to head back to the States. As we look at these photos, soldiers of the 101st FSB, to include the 1st Maintenance Company, are loading up their equipment for the move back to Kuwait and then back home. Now, obviously, for security reasons, we can't tell you just exactly where the 101st FSB is at the present time. What we can tell you is they were in the process of getting to Kuwait as these pictures were taken. Now take a close look, you might see a loved one here. In this picture, First Lieutenant David Delworth of the 331st Signal Company and his driver, Sergeant First Class Gerald Anderson, are catching a little shade and a well-deserved drink of water. Here's Sergeant First Class Otis Sampleton of the 101st FSB taking care of some communications chores. Here we see a group of soldiers dotting I's and crossing T's as they get ready to head into Kuwait. 
And finally, here's a great shot, folks. This is Captain Kate Trant, commander of the first maintenance company. And you can tell by the picture on the dashboard of her Humvee that she's anxious to get back home to her son. Our thanks to First Lieutenant Colin Taylor of the 101st Forward Support Battalion for those great pictures and for many others that he sent back in recent months.